Hey guys, this may be a bit of a niche question, but I'd appreciate some advice since it sounds like both of you had at least some experience with this. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Basically, over a year ago, I left my country because the political environment there had become too toxic towards my views and I needed out. I'm very happy with where I've ended up. However, the language most people speak here is not my native language. Although I've become fluent in the language to the point where I'm confident using it professionally and for political engagement. That's fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, I cannot seem to get over that language slash cultural barrier or language and cultural barrier when it comes to dating. It's bad enough that I often lack the words to express what I feel for a person. But in addition to that, I feel like a lot of the social cues I learned growing up are just non-existent or maybe even irrelevant here, and I'm simply missing things. I wouldn't have thought this would be a bigger problem moving between Western countries, yet here I am. Sometimes a person I fancy may pick up on this and switch languages with me, but a lot of it just turns into a cliche at that point, and I don't want to be the guy that just knows how to talk dirty in a foreign language. You mentioned in passing in your Dirty Talk video that Austrians don't actually speak German in bed, which I guess solves part of my problem, but flirting with them is still a mystery to me. So is he, I'm guessing he's in Germany. I don't know. Does it, does it matter? Does it matter? No, 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 no. But I just want to, I want to clarify on the, on the dirty point in bed thing. That was um, personal feedback I got from like two or three Germans. Not like, this is not like the rule in, German in Austri- Germany and Austria. So like, I just heard that saying like, fuck me, yeah, is not quite a sexy <laughs> thing. Like, fuck me. <laughs> That's just personal feedback, not, um, not like the truth about Germans and Austrians. Rony. Uh, Rony. 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 Rowan. Oh, I tiny. Know. I was going to say Rowan, ti- as in tiny little technical thing. If uh. you hold this, I'm going to move your mic just because there's the earring. I worry oh, that it's it constantly. Possibly, possibly. Yeah, so I'm going to literally just put it like Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Surely. Yeah, okay. 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 That should be better. Yeah. Does, definitely does it better. ruin the aesthetic of my Mary Poppins sex slave look? Well,. It's like a brooch, 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 brooch. like brooch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Oh, that's, that's yours. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, did I look at no, 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 it's fine. no, no. So, <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Um, <laughs> but I feel like I'm being much more like pretend sexy than I normally am because of the outfit. I feel like very much like. Oh god, I, I don't, I can't, I can't. But I mean, you're actually sexy. I think I'm just, no, no, I think I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm so, like, prim. I feel like I need to overcompensate by, like, being salacious with the camera. Yeah, as I think my my outfit is too revealing, so I'm more like... At the end of it, I think I'm going to, after the second thingy, I'm just going to put on raincoat because, like, that's more me. I don't know, man. This is not me. No, no, but it's like, it's... Ugh. No, I mean, well, it makes you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, for, of course, sure. Of course, of course. for sure. What about the other blazer? Yeah, it's a bit of a bag, that one. But it's a velvet bag. And maybe, if I take off, maybe I take off the skirt. Maybe just take off the bra. <laughs> take off the bra and put on the jumper. What jumper? Not the jumper, the the, 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 bi- the big the big blazer. Yeah, I mean, oh would it... So sorry for doing this. We are question. going to come well, like, right honestly, back. Honestly, like, it's it's how the show goes. Yeah. Like, it's what it is. Like, I mean, like, you can you can change the channel. <laughs> Like, as you say, you want to recreate his living room as aesthetic. And if you're in the living room with us, we'd be having exactly this conversation. Literally, <laughs> honestly. Or if, if we're in pubs yeah. talking to other people, we also go like, yeah. You know, sometimes it, like we need to talk about ourselves as well. <laughs> Not all about you. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. Um, right, let's get back to the question. <laughs> it is actually secretly all about us. But... It's totally all about us. <laughs> oh, an excuse to tell one of my stories. Great. Okay. But sadly, we can't even like talk about our most interesting stories because it'd be too revealing. Okay, you clearly have more interesting stories than me because I feel like I've covered it all. Yeah. Actually, I haven't covered some stuff. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one thing I will say is that, like, I managed to date in two countries where I did not speak the language at all. And that's because I'm a terrible colonialist Brit who doesn't speak other languages. No, I tried, I tried, I tried. Ich habe ein bisschen Deutsch. <laughs> Shut up. Yo estoy embarazada. I'm pregnant in no Spanish. So. <laughs> that just means I don't know in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. And I found people who spoke English perfectly, luckily, because, you know, what can I say? It's a global second language. Like, that's because of our terrible colonialist history, but it is what it is. Um, but you already said you could speak, like, fluently enough in, like, conversation and shit. So I feel like that is not the problem and yet you make it sound like like to me it sounds like you're saying it's a language and culture barrier to me it sounds like it's more like a actual just cultural barrier if the language is not a problem yeah i get the flashes is more still another language and you said 
Sometimes, like, out of sympathy, they'll switch to speaking English. If they're comfortable speaking English and they're good at it, there's no harm in just, like, I was with this girl for five months and bless her fucking soul, she spoke English with me 24 <laughs> hours a day because I was not very good at Spanish. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, you know, like... And I will say, as well, sorry, I'm just going off on this Please, no. tangent. Um, I only spoke in English on Tinder and I said in my Tinder profile while I was in Spain, like... I Did you have a little British flag on your bio? No, I didn't have a flag. <laughs> because I think, you know, like yeah, English flag. Oh, you should have the like, Cornish flag. I just wrote my bio in English, so no it was kind of obvious. Was no. There. But like my bio was in English and my opening questions were always in English. So it was like, mm -hmm. hi, I'm in English. And sometimes people were like, sorry, I don't speak that good English. And I'd be like, okay, that's, that will be a problem. We're not compatible because of the language barrier. Fucking fine. Sure. I don't know, something for me, it's like, I've never done this, but something to me is like hot when like mm. you just hook up with someone that you literally can't like speak well with. i mean i will say that like one of my best friends who dates a lot more than me often dates people whose english is not very good and has a whale of a time so yeah there are ways of like speaking the language of love and being consensual yeah okay so i've made a few right. notes on this because um although i don't know like you were generous enough to pick up on the fact that I'm not the, you know, from this country as such. And it, it, How did you know? No, no, no. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and so that I definitely have had that experience mm. of like the culture shock and the language shock barrier and everything. So yeah, um, English is my third language and I've only began to learn it properly when I was 17 and moved here. Um, and more than the language barrier, what I had is a cultural shock because yeah. so two things was became was was a huge deal so first of all the drug culture here like i just didn't have drugs around where i grew up like at all whatsoever and you did when you were 17 sorry no but like whenever i guess i started dating here more like 19 20 okay. not 17 but uh, i started seeing drugs around me and that was huge for me like i couldn't i could not believe like it. hard drugs or just weed no like mdma all the cocaine okay. all of that mm. stuff you know so i don't know whether, whether that's hard drugs or not and that would just turn people into a, 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 like very, very different beings. And that was like, I didn't get it at all. And so what hap would happen as well is that I would kiss people. And to me, that'd be like the biggest deal. And I thought they're into me. And then turns out everyone's like, no, it's just like, hi, what are you talking about? Mm. And I'll, I'll be like, oh my God, yeah, like I fancy you for months. And oh my God, and we kissed. And to me, like, oh, fuck, they fancy me too, you know? And I'm like 19 or 20 or something. And like, there was, what are you talking about? I was just high. Like, although like we spent all night together and all yeah. that stuff. That's shit. Yeah, that really yeah. sucked. So, so that was big cultural shock. And I had to become way more cynical basically, which is really, really sad because yeah, like where I come from, like kissing matters. Um, no one just kisses everyone all the time. Like it just, it doesn't happen. Um, oh, oh, yeah. And so, so that was a big thing. And then. Uh, another thing is I just realized that a lot of the time people like kind of, I don't know, people kind of, not that they fetishize me because there's not much to fetishize over, but like basically like I would be someone people would date, but not necessarily like, you know, someone would date, date serious. But, but like you're not one that they would like marry or like bring to their parents or something, right? Because I'm like, lit like she's Lithuanian. Because you're foreign, really? I think so, yeah. I mean, like, also if I was like from a more glamorous, if I was like Canadian or like Swiss, or mm. fucking, I don't know, man, like... Swedish. Swedish. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's something about, like... Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. Backwards. Eastern Europe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, it's just the thing. And so I had to also learn to become my own person that, and that I'm not defined by my, like, Eastern European background, though I'm proud of it as such. But, like, it's still a thing. To this day, I've been here 11 years. To this day, I have insecurities over being Eastern European rather than anything else another whole thing is like and now i'm just talking about my life but fuck it, it's just like i'm not like a diversity hire necessarily right because i'm like why don't all this stuff but like i don't know like yeah, you get the stigma but not the gains i get the stigma but not the gains like it's just yeah it's like a really long surname and like eastern europeans are fucking frowned upon in here and yet like you know i don't know people from here that are born here never had the trouble of moving that are middle class yeah. as fuck but you know obviously like i, I I, I, I sort of picked up as, 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 as migrants in some other way, like then they, they're the... That was I mean, yeah, I just, I just want to say that like when I said not the gains, I was not in any way oh, underplaying God, no, like no, what it is for like POCs and like people from like non-European backgrounds. <laughs> Obviously that's fucking hard, harder than my arms maybe. Like, no, this it was, is it a was whole a, different like conversation. Joke, yeah, I just want to like... like I, mean, I don't get shot by there. the police. Yeah. Obviously, obviously that is like, we totally, totally super, super fucking get this. I'm just saying there's this particular 
sneer towards where yeah. I come from. That is like a different experience. That's all. Absolutely, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. I just wanted to put that in. I felt, I felt like I maybe sounded flippant, but like. Sure. No. 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 Of course. No. But yeah. But even especially, especially I think in the in the in the milieu that in the industry that I work in, that that's like a, a bit of a conversation to be like that is being had these days. That's mm. all. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. Um. So yeah, there's someone they date, and I, I, I think that's not just Eastern Europeans, but that's also people of color. I think maybe but sometimes I have like definitely heard that they are being dated or like they're being fetishized. Oh yeah, like they're never. exotic. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. But like they're not ones that people would then like introduce to their parents yes. or marry. 100 yes, percent, definitely. 100%. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is I think a shared experience. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, communicating in 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 visuals. So I don't know pictures and memes and all that, and also music. One thing that I like. Well, I've only done it like twice, I think. But um, oh, there's like a tip thing now. Yeah, now a bit of a tip. Um, in if you like someone, do like a, a, a exchange a playlist of your ten definitive songs of your life. You know, so it can be very different genres, very different, um, you know, periods, very different. Uh, Everything you know, can, but like literally tens mm. of songs that would completely define you. Who you I used are to do like desert island discs with people just Isn't on the conversation starter. Okay, it's a um, it's a British radio show where it's like if you're stuck on a desert island, what oh, yeah. ten songs did you have? And it, oh, they end up like it. telling the life stories like one from another kid, one else. But it's really nice, and it's yeah. like it's a really nice game to play. Yeah, and that's multilingual. I feel yeah. like yeah, and it's like uh, although I think you'll be surprised just how much of like the same music you probably share as well. Well, and also like when I didn't think that I was going to be staying with my because I, I met my Spanish girlfriend um, ten days before I left Madrid because that's fucking luck. But I didn't think I was going to see her beyond those 10 days when you're not dating for several months, which is lovely. But um, I, when, I, when I left, I sent her like five songs that reminded me of her. And it was really nice. And, you know, yeah, music is a really good way yeah. of communicating emotions that you don't need to speak. Yeah. And about the talking dirty thing, it's like not everyone enjoys it. I mm. know like I'm like, maybe because I'm not that good at it. But, like I like don't care for it that much. So like although you may have insecurities over it, but like don't, not necessarily. But also, like, yeah, like if the it. like if the language barrier is an issue, then you will be able to find it. Especially if it sounds like you're in a German-speaking country. Like, German speakers are fucking mostly amazing at English, which is quite shameful making. But I've met very few Germans and Austrians who weren't good at English, and you will be able to find someone. Because, like, I'm not saying like, oh, only date someone who can speak English, but it makes it a lot easier. It makes consent a lot easier. It makes sexiness a lot easier if you find someone who can speak English as well and. But I think what was fascinating there is that like it is yeah more of that culture shock has and like stuff that a little tips that would work in my country like doesn't work here mm. stuff like that 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 that's fascinating to me and as well like you say even within like Western countries like that that's so interesting. But then I would I would recommend like br rather than like rushing into dating or whatever make make a friendship group first and see how they interact see how they are with their loved ones see how you know like you can learn a lot from the friends you make in another culture before you jump into dating yeah. like also, what the what, norms are what the norms yeah. aren't because like, I I wish I could remember but there were definitely some things when I was with my German housemates that they were like no you don't do that and I was like what, why not like oh yeah so I'm, oh god so many things here as well yeah and I forget well even here I don't know yeah people people work people work with brushing your hair in front of someone else was apparently considered really rude by the Germans I knew uh uh, uh, brushing teeth outside of the outside the bathroom outside the bathroom apparently is a bit rude here no oh i mean i i brush my teeth in the toilet but i'm told that's a bit gross i sit down on the bathroom floor i guess have I a, just have think. a wee i'm like <laughs> you know i'm in the bathroom <laughs> um but yeah i wonder if there's a possibility i don't know maybe that's a bit weird and also it doesn't have to mean that you have the same experience but if there's a way to meet someone from your country that has lived there for a long time perhaps they would give you some tips as well yeah definitely yeah yeah, there might and be also, things. like, they might also advise you on like the type of spaces where you can go, where you can meet someone who's like more like you or whatever. Like, I don't know if you're political, but like, political spaces, cultural spaces, like groups and stuff. Like. Yeah, but people definitely like tend to sort of cluster around their types as such. Yeah, so if you want to figure out what your type is, like well, the type I of mean, friends, I mean. Yeah, but even even like, I don't know. From if they're from the so you know the the they're the the North London squatters right that always right, sell London sure. or like or like I don't know yeah the the bit the, the, like for school kids oh, right like on. they're always just like everyone in their own clusters. And I just want to say one of our comments on Reddit was this was very North London and I would just like to point out that this is East London. So go away. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know nothing about us. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like I know what you mean when you say North yeah, London. Yeah, I mean, mean what like you the mean. for school kids. And let me just tell you. I had to go through quite a few nervous breakdowns to tell you <laughs> that I'm nothing like that, <laughs> for better or for worse. 
<laughs> so yeah, so that's just an aside. But also, to be fair, Forest School is, does a lot of really, really important work. I hadn't even uh, heard of on, it like, until I met on, these people. On, 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 um, on really, really important community level internationally. Uh, I'm saying it flippantly just because of, of a few people I had to deal with. But that's very, very subjective. And I think they just like, they made that being their... Um, they were the ones that made that their identity rather than me slapping it mm. on them as such. So um, I don't I don't mean in disparag disparagingly, 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 disparagingly. And I just want you before we end this video. And they probably hate our content anyway. I just really want to pick up on the bit of um, I left my country because the political environment there had become too toxic towards me. I've done that twice. <laughs> there and back again. Uh, Leaving Tail by Rowan Milligan. Like, yeah, you know, oh, I said my last name. Am I allowed to say my last name? I don't know, Everybody, whatever. Everyone knows mine. Yeah, it's, I think it's on my Twitter, whatever. Um, you know, yeah, like, I just really want to sympathize with that because it's a huge thing. And I think the way you wrote it makes it sound like yours was more repressive, whereas mine was more me just freaking out about, like, I don't know, mean people or something. But, like, it's a big deal to leave your country and it's really cool that you're happy where you ended up. Like I said, I did that twice. The first time I did it, I was happy where I ended up for a year and a half and then turned out that was a terrible idea and now I'm back where I started, but in a totally different milieu. So, yeah, I just wanted to say, like... <laughs> I gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs>